Hi, good morning. Welcome to a new vlog. Um, I'm being quiet because Justin is still asleep. I just have to go to the post office to pick up two missed packages, even though Justin was home when they were delivered. So they obviously just like didn't ring the doorbell. Um, so I'm gonna go get those. <laughs> Oops, the apartment is a complete mess. Like I haven't really tidied. Not that I've been that busy this week. Oh, I guess Justin had his birthday on Sunday and then the next day, <laughs> I mean, they stayed till like 4 a.m. So the next day I was so tired, so I didn't tidy. So today my goal is to edit my January, my first foster and my second foster vlog. And then the third foster vlog starts today. I'm picking up a puppy today. I mean, I said in my last vlog we were gonna have a break, but I mean, how can I say no when they email me saying, hey, Ernie desperately needs a home, a foster home. All right, well, I need to fucking go. We're going to the post office and then we'll open my packages. Okay, I'm home from the post office. I'm gonna be really honest right now. I'm vlogging on my phone and I've been vlogging on my phone a lot because I have a space issue. I've been vlogging since January on both of my cameras and those files are a lot bigger than like vlogging on my iPhone. Like when I vlog on my Canon 80D, they're huge files. I still haven't upgraded because I haven't been home to England and I don't want to pay for it if my dad can do it for free. So I still haven't added um, extra memory to my MacBook. So when I'm editing, sometimes when I import the video footage, I can't even edit the video because there's no room on my MacBook. <laughs> And I'm gonna have to wait until Christmas until I can go home and get it sorted. So <laughs> I just have a serious space issue right now. So I went to go get this package. It is from my mother. I don't know why she's sending me stuff, but I love it. So I thought we'd do a quick unboxing. Oh, it's a metallic box. Ooh. Jill is so great. My mother in the box. What's on top? Oh, some mail. Okay, there's a card. Do the card first. I feel like it's my birthday or something. Okay. Oh, Jill is so good with the funny cards. Could Lady Jocasta ask Lady Lucy to ask Lady Georgina to ask Lady Rachel to pass the Prosecco? Hi, darling. Just couldn't resist this card. I found it in Gerald's. Actually, Judy pointed it out. We were in the city setting up Granny's power of attorney for her bank account. How are things with you and Justin? At the time of writing this, I know you have Angel, but may not when you receive this. Sending a little box of niceties, a Jill word for you. Great news about your interview. Lots of love to you both, mum. Oh, that's really cute. I do love this card. I'm gonna put it on my fridge. A new Tangle Teaser. If you have seen my Tangle Teaser, which you probably haven't because I avoid putting it in vlogs because it is disgusting. I've had the same Tangle Teaser for four years. <laughs> it's really gross. Um, it probably doesn't actually work. Ooh, fresh. <gasps> Ooh. Oh yeah, that's nice. I mean, I've just curled my hair so I probably shouldn't brush through it. Well, actually, I feel like there are so many knots in my hair that my other tangle teaser didn't find. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, a fresh tangle teaser. And now my hair's all poofy. Although I like it, it's very Texas, isn't it? Ooh. Oh, more teaser buttons. These are my favorite. These weren't in England the last time I was back. These are a new invention. That, how do I even know about them? Oh, because last time my brother was here, he brought some over. Oh my God, so good. And then caramel nipples. Oh my God, and more Malteser buttons. Oh, these are oh, a giant bag of caramel nipples. These are my favorite British chocolates. This is the best. Oh my God, I'm so stocked up now. This is the best. That was such a nice treat on a Saturday morning. So I'm gonna have some lunch and then I'm gonna head into Manhattan and I'm actually picking up some dog food from another person in the Facebook foster group, which is so nice. If people have stuff that they just don't need, they'll put it in the Facebook group. So I'm picking up some dog food and then I'm gonna pick up 
our little puppy. He is an actual puppy. Um, he's 12 weeks old. <laughs> Can't believe I was like, yeah, we're gonna have a break and then we're dog sitting for Justin's friend, but I just hate not having a dog <laughs> and I found it so hard to wake up in the morning if I don't have a dog to get up for. Um, but he is an indoor puppy because he hasn't had his shots yet, so... I won't be walking him in the park. I might take him to the park because I'm supposed to take him out on the carrier so he can see the world. But his paws aren't allowed to touch the ground. This was the best gift. Thank you, Jill. I'm gonna FaceTime her now. so far okay he's just had a shower because he was stinky well you're a stinky puppy and now he's all over me good boy you good boy Right, <laughs> I mean, he is the cutest little thing. I have cleaned and tidied just the living room and the kitchen. I'm gonna do the bedroom when Justin's home so he can keep an eye on Ernie. He's been so sleepy, he's just had a nap and he's just had dinner, haven't you? Yeah, and you had some peanut butter with your tablets. And now we're gonna sit and we're gonna edit, aren't we? Yeah. Good boy. So, um, I was just looking at his medication, which has the note from the vet on it, and the vet thinks that he is a rough collie cross, which I probably would have said border collie cross, or maybe like a, he looks like a Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever because of his colouring, and his little face looks Nova Scotia. Don't you? I would love, I mean, I probably will when I get my own rescue, but I would love to do a DNA test on all of the fosters we've had. Because I feel like they're such strange mixes. No licking, thank you, I have makeup on. Okay, hi, good morning. <laughs> You're a wriggler, aren't you? You're a wriggler, hmm? Huh? You're so cute. Okay, so I've had Ernie for a week. Justin's still asleep, so I'm being a little bit quiet. This week, I haven't vlogged <laughs> because Justin and I have my immigration interview on Monday. So all I've been doing is like preparing documents and like printing stuff and doing practice questions. So yeah, we've had a lot to do. And we've just been watching oh, <laughs> The Twilight Zone and the new episodes of The Twilight Zone and having puppy cuddles, but I haven't really vlogged. Um, and then work was a lot this week too. Are you being a baby? 
You bring a little baby. Hmm? He is just the cutest puppy. He is 20 pounds right now. So he's probably gonna be a big dog, like a little bigger than a lab. Um, so we can't keep him. He's just so perfect. Like he fits into our lives so perfectly. He's so chill, so independent. <laughs> like when we had Angel, she was all over the place, all over us, all the time. And she was so high energy and we weren't supposed to be walking her outside it was supposed to be minimal time outside and we ended up having to take her for hour-long walks and just washing her paws thoroughly when she came back because she just had so much energy and i feel like a dog like that should have a yard should be going hiking which is just not our new york apartment lifestyle i mean i'd love that lifestyle oh my god anyway so today is actually going to be interesting I'm going to brunch with Andrew and Brie. Brie is back in town because her friend Sarah got engaged last night. Did it just get really dark or was that me? I've done my hair and makeup, but I need to get dressed. It's actually gonna be warm today and it's supposed to be 20 degrees. Well, it doesn't look that warm or feel that warm outside yet. I am finally leaving the house. It took forever to pick out an outfit because I just have no spring transition clothes and no shoes um my makeup looks nice today though Ernie's in the bag and we're gonna go to the train <laughs> Okay, so the subway was a success. He's so good and I've popped his head out so he can see the world while we walk. Are you at brunch? Yeah, it comes with eggs, a biscuit. I mean, you may not want No, I don't want all that. Okay, yeah. so pancakes and a side of bacon and a side of sausage? Yes. Pork sausage or chicken apple? Pork. Okay. I'm going to get the sausage biscuits, gravy, and eggs. Uh, squares. And cheese grits and potatoes. Ooh, cheese grits. Okay. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Guys, how do we know we're going to be here for the day? He wants the drink. <laughs> Oh, cute. <laughs> Thank you so much. Pancakes, yes. Right here. Thank you. Oh my god. Do you need a plate? Do we need a plate? I don't think we need a plate. Thank you. Does Ernie need a plate? Oh. Ernie's not allowed human food. Can you not have yeah. pineapple? Oh, you're right. Oh, yeah. These goods are really good. Mm. Oh, Ernie. <laughs> For all three great stuff, take the shuttle run towards the front of the Just got like a 180 of the kitchen. Hey, well, I was trying to show you the display of cards. Oh, okay. And then bed. I've taken my earrings out because, I mean, they're just a little impractical for being home. Um, but I do love those earrings. I don't know if you saw them. Well, you did see them when I was on FaceTime, but it's because I just put my hair up. What is with these bald patches? Oh my god. Um, right. Well, we had a great brunch, didn't we? He is so tired now. So we've had Ernie for a week, but I haven't really vlogged um, all week. I will vlog all this weekend and all next week. It's just Justin and I have our green card interview, the marriage interrogation on Monday. You don't like the camera? What's wrong with you? But he was so good at brunch. All he did was just sit and people watch and have cuddles, didn't you? You really don't want to look at the camera, you weirdo. Hmm? 
Um, so I just FaceTimed my brother because it was his birthday today. So I spoke to him, watched him open his presents. And then I think we are gonna have a little snuggle time. Yeah. And I have to prepare our folder for our evidence. <laughs> Who's that? Is that Yoshi? Yoshi is the Shiba Inu that lives upstairs who always fucking barks. He was barking the other night at 4 a.m. I feel like I should offer to dog sit him because I feel like he's just alone. He lives above us. I don't think I've really realised, I don't know, it's so weird to think, Monday, I'm not going to go to work, I'm going to go to an immigration interview where they're going to ask me questions about my relationship to see if our relationship is real, and I have to provide all of this evidence, like this is a wedding, of, well it's a copy, it's a copy of a wedding invitation that one of my friends in England sent me. I have to use it as evidence because it's addressed to both of us to go to the wedding but I have to provide copies and originals of everything. It's, it's so insane. So, so insane. When I was filling out the application for my green card, it was like having a, it's a full-time job if you don't have a lawyer. I was doing everything myself, so I had to read pages and pages of instructions, making sure that everything I put was right. It was insane. Insane, but at least I have a little puppy. A little puppy to help. You're so good. You are just the sweetest little thing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Literally everyone that meets him, when I say, they'll ask, oh, is he yours? And I say, no, he's my foster dog. And the woman at brunch today went, yeah, right. Because everybody thinks I'm gonna keep you. Yeah, but I can't. Because you'll grow up to be big. You're gonna be a big boy. Look at those paws. They're so big. Let's go in here. Oh my god, I'm so tired. It's Sunday morning. I spent so long doing our folder last night. I was watching like TV and movies while I was doing it. I watched music and lyrics while I was doing it. It's such a good movie the one with drew barrymore and hugh grant and they wrote a song it was great to have one in the background um i look like complete trash oh i'm watching um youtube in the morning i'm having my coffee someone got me up this morning super early but it's okay because he's so cute why were you up at half six huh did you just want cuddles hmm And this is the folder. That's insane. And then we also have to have like photographic evidence. So I have all these pictures. And then on the back I have to write like the date, who's in the picture, what the occasion is. This is a really cute one. We just have some very cute pictures. And then obviously they're supposed to have like other friends and family members in them. So that it looks, looks legit, you know? Looks like there's a lot of people in on this sham. No, because this is actually real. That's Justin's birthday last year. Justin and my brother. Some people from a wedding we went to. So I slept in my makeup last night because I could not be bothered to shower. I think I just went to go and see Justin to ask him a question. I was still in the living room and he got home and he was in bed and just sitting in bed on his laptop and I just went to go see him and I sat on the bed and I was like, oh, I miss my bed. Because we went to bed so late Friday night and then I got up early. Um, why did I get up early Saturday? I don't remember. Um, and then we went to brunch and I just feel like I haven't spent time in my bed. So I didn't want to waste time in the shower because I just wanted to go to bed. So I am wearing yesterday's makeup and my hair is naughty and frizzy and disgusting. But that's what Sundays are for, right? 
Justin is still asleep right now and then once he leaves for work I'm recording the podcast with Kitty. I could probably FaceTime Kitty now actually. Oh my god I haven't spoken to Kitty for like two weeks because she's been home in Oxford. So yeah we need a good catch up. We're recording another episode of the podcast. I have so much to do. I have so much editing. Is it too early to have another coffee when I just finished my first coffee of the day? Oh an eyelash. Great. This camera's very heavy. If I dropped it on my face I'm pretty sure my nose would break. What are you doing? Hello, Ernie. <laughs> His face is under the couch pillow. <laughs> Literally everyone at brunch yesterday that walked past him and said hi to him or saw him, they were like, oh my God, he's so chill. He's so good. Oh, was that your puppy? And, um, Oh my god, the waitress was also kind of weird. Well, first of all, she was like, oh, he's so cute. I could just pick him up and throw him, throw him in the street. And I was like, oh, was, okay. And then she was like, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what it is. I just want to break off all his limbs. And then she said that she looked it up and that it's supposed to be the same hormones that are released with rage that are with like, when you see a cute thing. I don't really know. I don't know if I believe this. Um, so she was like, and that's why you just, you know, you want to squish them to death because they're so cute. It was very strange, but everyone loved him. And I said, he was my foster dog. And she was like, oh yeah, right. Implying that I would keep him. Tan at all. No, I think you put it on and it like melts tan. Really? I'm a product reviewer and I'm <laughs> Having cuddles. He's just like fast asleep. But how cute. Look at him. Oh, oh he's good for. Are you ready to podcast, mister? Over 450 breeds. It's by Nancy Hajeski. Okay, um, what else do I like? <laughs> Saluki, Wolfhound, Deerhound. I mean, I think he's a collie pit mix, but I think he really could be Nova Scotia. Maybe they got the vet papers mixed up and he's just a Nova Scotia puppy. Yeah? Okay, kids. Bye, love you. You happy boy. Good morning. Today's the day of my immigration interview. Um, I'm not vlogging on my camera, I'm vlogging on my phone because I don't think it'd be appropriate to take my camera to a government building. Okay, we are done with our interview. Um, apparently our relationship is fine and I just have to wait for my green card to be mailed and then we can book flights back to England. But she said it would be around 120 days, hopefully not that long. You were talking to yourself. Well, I mean you are. Kind but... of. <laughs> um, so anyway, we both have the day off today. It's only what, half 12? So we're gonna go to Target and get Bean his birthday present. And we're gonna go to Trader Joe's and get some groceries and then <laughs> just go home and chill out with the puppy all day. Okay, right, so if you have been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that my brother loves to come to America and get different flavors of Pop-Tarts and different flavors of Oreos. So today, I'm hoping that we can get some, but I know today they released the Game of Thrones themed Oreos, which is so perfect for beans. So I'm hoping we can get them to send them to him for his birthday. That's an awesome week. They don't have the Game of Thrones Oreos. Unless they're not sold in the Oreo department. Okay, we've been to Target, we've been to Trader Joe's. I've just researched that they have the uh, Game of Thrones Oreos at the other Target, but I can't order them online, so I would have to go and get them. So I might go tonight, depending on whether I can be bothered. Um, but yeah, they're sold out on Amazon and sold out everywhere else but they are apparently still in stock at the other Target. You little wriggler. Thank you. Get him, Ernie. Why are you standing on my neck? Because he can. Ah! <laughs> what happened, Ernie? Oh, yeah. Good morning, it's Tuesday morning. No, it's Wednesday morning. Wait, what day is it? 
Yeah, it is Tuesday morning because yesterday was Monday when we had the interview and I had Monday off, so it is Tuesday. Um, I know Justin and I still haven't like gone over the interview. I got home yesterday, well right afterwards I was like, okay, this is good, we're fine. And then after like I thought about it more, I was like, oh my god, like she didn't really ask us anything. My case is still technically under review, like I wanted her to ask us questions so I could be like, see bitch, this relationship is real. But we'll definitely go over it, maybe tonight. I don't know, we're going to the movies tonight with Andrew. Okay, I'm with Justin. Justin, we're in the movie theater, we're gonna see the movie with Andrew. We're gonna see Us, which I'm excited for. I had work today. Um, I was a little bit stressed out and panicky about the interview because I feel like I was rethinking everything and panicking. But I feel like okay now, after two hours of Googling other people's experiences and what the norm is now. So this movie theater in Times Square used to be a Broadway theatre, which is why it has the ornate ceilings. Oh, oh, I see him, I see him. Oh, yes. You do look crazy. I look insane, I'm like a snowman. Oh, the Uggs too. I was really hoping I would pee my pants tonight. Date with little Ernie boy. He's coming to work with me tomorrow. Mwah, you're the little cutest puppy. Justin! No! Don't listen. Cover your ears. No. So Ernie's coming to work with me and he actually has a photo shoot tomorrow. So Ernie's gonna go to Nylon Magazine to have his photo shoot, which is actually right down the street from my work. And he was gonna come to work with me anyway, so it's perfect. Um, and what else do we have to update on? Oh, we went to the movies yesterday and we never gave a review. Well, we saw Us and it was bloody brilliant. It was much scarier than I thought it was gonna be and I tried to avoid most spoilers. Um, but I'd heard that it was like a psychological thriller but it was very tense, I was on edge the whole time, and then all of like the hidden meaning stuff, like if you watch the film theory on it, so, so interesting. So many things that you don't really think about, and I kind of want to see it again, because it was so good. What did you think of the movie? What? What did you think of the movie? Three. What would you rate it out of 10? I'd say nine. Honestly, it's the best movie I've seen in a while. Eh, there are flaws. Well, that's because the last thing I saw was Aquaman. This Derma Simpsons 4. Sorry, man, can't have loose lips stuck in the competition. Mm. Well, you and everyone else will know what their components are for when the time is right. Oh, let me see. Good morning. I am leaving. I'm leaving a little bit late today. Oh, God, it's so grey. Oh, I thought it was going to be nice and sunny. It might get sunny later. Um, look who's with me. He's coming to work with me today, which is so fun. Um, so he has a photo shoot, so he's gonna come to work, then I'll take him to his photo shoot, and then <laughs> leave him, go back to work, and then go pick him up later. I'm basically your personal assistant, aren't I? office so far and now I'm taking him to his photo shoot. I'm literally a stage mum. Okay I'm on my way to go pick Ernie up from his photo shoot and then he can come back and be an office dog. Just put the bag down <laughs> and 
he knows he's going to work. He's so excited. Are you putting yourself in? Come on then, in the bag. Oh, good boy. Yeah, good boy. Okay, it's Friday. I'm taking Ernie to work again today because he was such a hit yesterday and he was so good. And then everyone was like, can you please bring him tomorrow? So he's coming with me again. Um, but yesterday, I didn't vlog when I got home. I was, we were just so exhausted. I mean, Ernie was just passed out. Yeah, we didn't really do anything last night. Justin came home early last night, which was nice. So we had dinner, we watched TV, and the first one at work, but the train was so crowded. And then I was gonna go to Duncan and get iced coffee. And then as I was like about to go through the door, well, as I was approaching, five people went in and I was like, I do not have time for this. Hello. dog now. Yeah. Little Kentucky boy in New York. It is really rainy. Oh my god, when we're on the train, people are so fucking miserable. I'm sorry, but if there's a puppy with his head out on the train, how can you not smile? I mean... I just don't get it. I mean, what a miserable life you must lead if animals don't bring you joy. Hey, I look like trash. I've just popped a spot because I realized I had a huge spot on my chin. Um, a little bit wet. I am wearing a top. A little bit wet from the rain. Ernie, just your face is wet, isn't it? Because I carried you. Yeah. What are we going to do now, Ernie Bear? Oh. Hey, that's my hair. Oh, you're so cute. So we went to the bean with my friend Amy so she could meet him. Well, he just slept because you were exhausted from your work day, weren't you? Yeah, working nine till five is exhausting. And now we're home. Ah, and we're gonna... Oh, where's he going? We're gonna watch some YouTube and have a nap. I like when he sleeps on the bed with me if you'll settle. And we're gonna wait for Justin to come home. Okay, we're just about to leave. Ernie has his adoption event today. I'm pretty sure he has a confirmed adopter, so he's not gonna be coming home with me. But I've had the best time with you. So I'm taking him to his adoption event and then I'm gonna hang out with Andrew today. Okay, I'm about to drop Ernie off. We're having our last few minutes together. Oh, boy. Yeah, I've just dropped Ernie off and I'm with Andrew. We're gonna go get coffee. We were so you dropped Andrew off and I was like, where did I go? <laughs> okay, you adopted, yeah. I'm not crying. I'm no. fine, I'm not thinking about it. <laughs> it's gonna hit you all at once. Yeah, no, it'll hit me when I get home, I think. No, or stop now. It. don't think about it. I'm talking it. about it now, I don't wanna think about it. Stop. Yeah, we're gonna go to Birch Coffee, a classic favorite of ours. Classic. 
We're in our old neighborhood where we used to live. Yeah. You're so tall, you don't fit. I know, I'm just like a neck. <laughs> I'm like a home improvement. Dwindleable. Is that a word? Yep. Wow, it's so crowded for it. Oh, it's not. That is it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, right, we've got the nice seat. The window, corner, lounge. corner, library. I've been a complete mess since we got here. I've embarrassed Andrew. I thought this said bitch, please. <laughs> and so when you lift it up, it says bitch, please. Oh, I would I love really that. To say that. Your cup is so nice that it says stimulated by. That's backwards, I think, on that. But... <laughs> Isn't it? It sounds nice. <laughs> Okay, I just got the text from Juliet from Muddy Paws and he's been adopted. Yay! It took a long time for yeah. them to make up their mind, but yes, he's gone. I'm okay. Might not be later. But I'm glad he found his forever home. Um, so Andrew and I are going to go get brunch because... Because. Yeah, because. <laughs> and here, I want a nice mimosa and something nice in my mouth. A fridge place. I would love to sit outside if we can, just because it is really nice now. Did you just see that dog fall over or is that a child? I hope it's a child. Oh, it's a child, you're right. Oh, oh it's very hot and we're in the sun. I didn't know it was going to be this hot today. It was supposed to be cloudy, but I'm, I'm glad it's sunny at least. It's not depressing and dark. It's very cute. Is cute. Mango lip gloss has more strength than actual mango. What, what kind of big dog? Oh no. Oh no. Well, like Roscoe? I Roscoe. love dog. Shut up. I love dog watch. Look at his legs. I can't see anything. I literally cannot see anything. Yes. Ooh, that looks so good. I know, I told you. Okay, right, our brunch has arrived, but um, Juliet has just texted me to say that Ernie's adopter has changed his mind. He's worried and too nervous about having Ernie, and it's bringing him back. So I have to, after brunch, when we're going to go back and get Ernie. I can't believe that happened. Oh, I, I see an ear. Please come this way. They have to come this way, right? No, they're probably going to go that way. I know. Wait, wait. Oh my god. They have a leash. Oh, they're going to go through the door. Oh, oh, yes, okay. Angle, angle, angle. Oh, it's beautiful. The coloring's different. Oh my god, can I show you a picture of crystal stuff? trash because it's Sunday and Sunday is like my cleaning and organizing day um, I didn't vlog when we got home yesterday either so Ernie was adopted and then um, brought back because the person that had adopted him didn't was I guess nervous to keep him um, which sucks but sometimes it happens um, so now he's back with us for a week aren't you He's very excitable because he's just had dinner. So yeah, Ernie's back. I've been doing laundry today and I hate doing laundry. It is the worst part about living in New York. Um, because I have to get up at 8.30 and put my laundry in at 8.30 because otherwise you won't get a washer or a dryer. And it's horrific. But yeah, I've done laundry, I've cleaned and tidied. Oh, you are just too cute, aren't you? Yeah. And I'm gonna take Ernie outside for the first time. He's been no pause on the ground because he had no shots and he's had some of his shots now. So now he can go outside to pee and poo and then we'll have to wipe his paws down. But that's exciting, isn't it? I'll go outside. But I'm so happy to have him for another week. Although I was kind of prepared for him to go. Do you want to go outside? Got a leash. Come on. Oh my God, he's never been outside. Well, in the bag. Come on. We're going to go out. Come on. Come on, little one. Ready. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Good 
boy. Uh, excuse me. What are you doing? Do you think this is your bed now? <laughs> yeah? Just took yourself to the bedroom and put yourself on the bed? Is that how it is now? You naughty boy. <laughs> I haven't vlogged in a little while because I don't know, I've just been relaxing, having puppy time and husband time. But um, Ernie has an adoption meeting. So I'm on the way there now. He's walking himself to the train because it's not that far. I have like 10 minutes before Ernie has to be at his adoption meeting. So we're just gonna sit on a bench and chill, aren't we? Oh, Ernie with the flat iron. You good boy. Oh, you're so beautiful. I know you wanna get out, don't you? You can't. What's in there? The dog park? You can go in there one day when you have all your shots. Yeah. And then they were just like playing with him and we were chatting and I stayed for the whole thing. <laughs> so like they were filling out the forms and I was there with Ernie. I feel like it was good though because I got to see who he was going to. So it made it a yeah. lot easier for me to be like, okay, I know where he's gone to. Now give me vibes on what this woman was like. I'm obsessed with them. Like I love them so much. I could not have picked a better home for him to go to. 